we're gonna review some chocolate. I am looking forward to a delicious video. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we try chocolate, you'll be alerted to it. So we have a chocolate to review today. The company reached out to us and asked us, would we be interested in trying their chocolates? Yes. And I'm never going to turn down trying chocolate. No, Sorry, me neither. Just not. No. I love chocolate. Me too. Uh, we are not sure how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Miro or Myro. I am not sure and I am sorry because yeah. whatever we kind of lead with will probably be wrong. Yep, but that's okay because how I pronounce it has no effect on the taste whatsoever. Right. So here's what we got. We have a bag of dark chocolate baking chips, one gram of sugar per serving, one net carb per serving. We have deviously delicious white chocolate bar with crispy almond pieces. We have a pleasantly perfect peanut butter chocolate bar. We've got wow in your mouth peanut butter cups. And then we have some plant-based maple flavor syrup. Interesting. So these are things that I tend to not use because right. they're usually with a fiber syrup, which is something I like to avoid, uh, but this one seemed a little different, so I'm willing to try it. Yeah. But it's just something that you should always test yourself on. I like the packaging a lot okay. right up front. Very Where pretty. are we starting? Let's see. Chocolate chips? Yeah, start with chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Okay. What are we doing? We're just supposed to eat them. You're supposed eat to them. eat them first. Yeah. I'm thinking of like a keto crate box. We got a lot of chocolate to eat. Yeah. So I'll just take a couple of these. Oh, sorry, I didn't drink it. Wow. Come in one more to just drink. Just in the mood for eating chocolate already. Who's not, right? Dink. Dink. They taste like chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. Dark chocolate chips. They don't have any kind of different aftertaste or anything. They just taste like. They're pretty good. Dark chocolate chips. They don't. They don't taste like uh, an alternative sweetened kind of chocolate chip. No. No, 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 no. That's that goes for last. Is that the last? No, we're gonna go peanut butter bar. I I like white chocolate. Look at how nice these are, though. And on the back, look at that. Nice little peanuts on there. Okay. We'll just go at one square. And yeah, I like it. how they have a square. I do like that. So it does come where you can divide it. So I do that like helps that. me stay within the square. Do you have a square to spare? Okay. Put that there. So this is a peanut butter bar. It's not stuffed with peanut butter though. Dink. Mm. Okay. That is a lot of peanut butter flavor. Mm hmm It's just all mixed together with the chocolate. Very nice. It's very smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this supposed to be like a milk chocolate? Doesn't say. Just a peanut butter chocolate. It is pleasantly perfect. Peanut butter. It's mm -hmm. it's it's leading with the peanut butter. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right. That's really good. You want to end on this one? Let's go with the syrup. Okay. Okay. I can never get these off. You brought a spoon? I brought a spoon. Put it, pour it over my little plastic here so we don't get this new table runner dirty first day. Okay, well here's oh. that. I brought two spoons. Wow, I am not used to this. I'm we're, prepared. We're coming prepared to this. Dink. Dink. That does have a good maple flavor. Mm-hmm. It really does. It's a thinner syrup. Yeah. 
which probably means it's not gonna be as fiber heavy as some of the other things. That's I nice. like the taste on that. Yeah, it's it got a good taste. Doesn't have a weird. It's not a chemical taste either. Uh, no, it d isn't. Oh my gosh, have you tried that like Walden Farms kind of syrup? Ugh, can't do it. No. Mm, why is your piece bigger than mine? You want to switch out? Dink. Dink. We didn't show this. There's a lot of peanut butter in that. Mmm. Please be good ingredients, because this is really good. This is tasty. Wow. Right, wow. Mmm. Mm. Dang. They got it going I'm gonna on. I'm going to wait for the taste on my comment on that. We're going to wait for five things on that. Mm hmm Okay. Last thing. We should have ended on that. Well, you didn't. You couldn't have prepared for how good that was going to be. <laughs> we got a rinse, though. Mm-hmm. That is good. Wow, that is good. Okay. So white chocolate. Usually my which favorite. Which is an oxymoron. Right, because it's not Cause really. there's nothing chocolate about it. Look at the back of this. I usually really like white chocolate the best. White chocolate or milk chocolate. I'm going whole square on this. <laughs> Dink. Dink. Hmm. You should have ended on the cup. I mean, it's good. Four out of five is not bad. Right. It's good, but it's not as sweet as I want white chocolate, you know, what I'm expecting to happen. It doesn't taste like white chocolate to me. That one was not my favorite. No. This it's, one was really good, though. <laughs> it, it's off. Yeah. It, it doesn't taste like white chocolate. It's got, like, um, it, it's very nutty. It's more, like, heading towards, like, a peanut... Something. Well, look at the ingredients, but yeah. there's something off to it. Okay, ready? Five things? Five things. Five so things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Let's go. Okay. So number one is going to be the ingredients. We're going to blow through these really quick to not make this a really long video. Okay, so the chocolate chips, they're probably all close to the same. Chocolate yeah. liqueur, chicory root fiber, erythritol, cocoa butter, salt, and stevia. The peanut butter bar, chicory root fiber, cocoa butter, erythritol, peanut butter, chocolate liqueur, natural flavor, salt, and stevia. What do you got? So the peanut butter cups are peanut butter, chicory root fiber, cocoa butter, erythritol, chocolate liqueur, natural flavoring, salt, and stevia. And the that white chocolate be different. is chicory root fiber, cocoa butter, Almonds, erythritol, gluten-free oat flour, salt, stevia, and natural flavor. That's that's what's making it odd for me. That that must okay. be it. Okay, and then okay, so the syrup is fructo oligosaccharides, allulose water, glycerin, natural flavors, black tea extract, stevia, potassium sorbate, and xanthan gum. So that's pretty cool. So the fructose oligosaccharides is. I know a little bit about it, and I know that it is not digested in the stomach. It's digested in the colon. It's like a prebiotic fiber. Okay. Um, I've never tested myself with it, so it's something that I would definitely, if I'm going to consume this, I would definitely check my blood sugars and stuff with it. But, uh, yeah, so it, at least it's, it's not like IMO fiber, and it's not some of those... Just, it's not super, super thick. Right. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Since I have this, this is the one that I'm most curious about. There's nine servings in this bottle. Wow. I feel like that's- Very generous, right? That, that's a generous serving size Dang. at two tablespoons. And I feel like I can do fine with one. Yeah. Uh, so there's 35 calories in a serving, uh, zero grams of fat, zero grams of protein, 22 total carbohydrates in a serving. 10 of it is fiber. And then, let's see. It, let's see. Do they say it's allulose? They're saying two net carbs. So I'm assuming it's 10 grams of allulose. But unfortunately, nowhere on the label do they have how much allulose. So if the company is watching, I would suggest change your label. Yeah. If you're trying to appeal to a low carb person, to a keto person, to somebody who looks at ingredients, you need to list on here how much allulose is in because there's no listing on here of how much allulose. Go to the front, make sure. It's not on the front either. 
Yeah. It says scan me for an express reorder. Two grams of sugar, but no, nowhere does it say how much allulose. We that need, would help. We need to know how much allulose because you're saying two net carbs and 10 grams of fiber, so I'm going to assume it's 10 grams of allulose. Yeah. Not bad ingredients. It's something I would definitely test. Right. What else we got? Okay, so for these bars, you've got for the uh, the white chocolate one, uh, a serving, there's about three servings per so bar. So two squares. Two squares, okay. So for two squares, there's 140 calories per serving in this one, 130 calories in the peanut butter chocolate bar, which is really the one I would probably eat. Right. Um, there is 11 grams of fat, 10 grams of fat here, two grams of protein, two grams of protein here. This one has 16 total carbs. This one has 17 total carbs. This one has nine dietary fiber. This one has 10 dietary fiber. So now we're running into the same problem again because it says three net carbs on this one, two net carbs on this one, but they're not subtracting the sugar alcohol. They're not, it's so yeah, I'm looking at this peanut butter one. Peanut butter one, one cup, there's five servings in a bag, one cup, 90 calories per serving, eight grams of fat, two grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, six grams of dietary fiber. It's not listing the sugar alcohols, even though erythritol is in the ingredients. And on the front, it says one net, one gram of car, net carbs. So again, we follow total carbs, but a lot of people don't. Right. I am usually willing to subtract sugar alcohols and allulose, but I'm not willing to subtract fiber. So for me, one of these is 10 total carbs because you got six grams of dietary fiber and I'd be fine with that, mm -hmm. but I want to know how many sugar alcohols and I'm not putting on here. So again, I think the company needs to work on their label. Do something. You need to put on here how much sugar alcohol is in here. You need to put in here how much allulose is in here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, and then the peanut butter, the, the chocolate chips, 60 chips, normal serving size, 60 calories per serving, four and a half grams of fat, one gram of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber. And once again, they're not telling us how much sugar alcohol is in here. Uh, they just say that there's a teaspoon of sugar, less than a teaspoon of sugar for the entire bag. But again, no list on how many sugar alcohols. So that's something we need to work on. Number three, how do they taste? Uh, these are amazing. I was gonna say it was very up and down. So this was really good, yep. I thought. This is this the worst is out of them all. Amazing. That was not for me. These are really good. Those were really good. I think they're like top-notch chocolate chips. Very nice, but price is gonna be a factor on those ones for me because yep. it like they taste the same as what I usually eat. Right. So I'm gonna be looking for, you know, what kind of value. Especially because chocolate chips are something you mix. I, that is really good. It is good, but I don't normally use these anyway. Right. To be honest. But taste wise, we're looking taste at taste. Taste wise, it was good. I think they taste really good, not chemical. This is the, the cream of the crop. Yeah. I'm gonna put this out there. Best peanut butter cup I have had hands down even beats the Reese's. Wow, that's and crazy. And I don't mean even beats the garbage Reese's. Well, they're all garbage. But, but I mean the garbage zero sugar one. But I mean this to me, I would eat this any day over the regular sugar version Reese's peanut yeah, butter cup. That's very good. Okay, I mean, well, and I got to show And this, this is good. Here is why. When you break this thing open, look at... Okay, it's, it's like soft, but look at the amount of chocolate that you have and look at how much peanut butter is in there. It feels like a proper ratio. It is like, it's reminding me of the overstuffed Reese's. Remember you would pay extra money for the one that had even more peanut butter? Right. It is so creamy, it is so delicious. This is the cream of the crop. Yeah. The only thing I, I would not buy- And this is number buy, two for me. The, the only thing I probably would not buy is this. Yeah. If I was using a lot of these syrups, this would probably be the syrup I use. I actually like this better than the original Lakanto ones. Well, and I like, honestly, I like our just regular syrup that we make and right. then just add some like butter to it or a maple flavoring or something yeah. like that. That's just what I personally do. I make my own because I just never fully trust these things, um, but, but it was tasty. Yep. Number four, how much do they cost? All Let's right. head over to the website. The moment of truth. Okay. So I was trying to look on their website. It's a little confusing. Okay. okay so we're going to go to shop. And then when you hit shop, they have like shop the sampler because they have like 
you get a sample box of chocolate. Oh, all well, right. that doesn't give me all the prices. Then you have chopped the full sampler, which is pretty much, I think, what we got, except for there's another kind of chocolate chip. Um, Ooh, peanut butter. Then you have the chocolate collection. Okay. This might be better. So the peanut butter chocolate bar is $5.30 for a bar. That is not bad. That's like right around the same price of like Lily's and all that other yes. stuff. Yes. If you buy a four pack, it you save two bucks. So you save what, 50 cents a bar. Nice. And if you buy an eight pack, you save six bucks. So I don't know how much that takes off of it, but whatever. So you save, you save a little bit of money if you buy more than one. Who's only buying one anyway? Right. Okay. Well, maybe to try it. That's true. Uh, well, if you try it, you're going to buy like the sampler box. Probably. Okay. Except for I don't want the white chocolate one. Okay, so the <laughs> peanut butter cups. So it's $5.99 for one bag. There's five in here. So that's what, a that's twenty dollar twenty a cup. That's reasonable. So that's, again, right in line with everybody else. A four pack, you save two bucks. So now you're getting, what, 20 of them for $22. So, okay. And then a six pack, you save six, $5.00. And then the white chocolate, not that I really wanted anyway, because I really didn't like it. Yeah, Sorry, guys, but I just didn't like it. I didn't either. Uh, $5.30 a bar. Okay, so let's go look at this syrup real so quick. So not terribly oh. unreasonable. What about my bacon, bacon chips? Bacon collection. Okay, $8.50 a bag if you buy one. Okay. So, again, right up there with the upper level chips. I mean, there's some garbage, no sugar ones in the store, um, but I don't like the ingredients on them. Uh, a three pack is $22. So that's like right in line. The only problem is, is you can find some of the other brands on sale a lot in stores. So that, that makes them a little bit more money. Uh, the syrup is eight fifty. Okay. So again, right in line right with in everybody line. else. So this is something that it wouldn't be cost prohibitive for me to try it right. because I'm already sort of accustomed paying that kind of money. to you're, paying that price. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Um, number five, would we recommend it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, these are really good, yes. 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 No. Again, taste is subjective. I would not buy that. And this, um, if you buy these kind of syrups, yes. If you don't... Keep not doing it. Keep not doing it. It's <laughs> up to you. Um, I am not big into the syrups. We have our soluble corn fiber kind of thing or like that we make the keto fiber so we have that, and we just add maple flavoring. But a lot of people love these syrups, mm -hmm. and I think this one is really good because it's not as sticky. Right. And it doesn't have a chemical taste. Yes, so, the aftertaste is not there. But it's just nice. These are amazing. Those are really good. These are really this good. This is a fine. This was yeah. worth trying them just to discover these. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried any of the chocolates from Miro or Myro. Myro. Uh, also... Let us know which of these items would you be most interested in. Are, do you have a better peanut butter cup than you think yes. this one would be? And if so, let us know because I'm always willing to try a keto-friendly peanut butter cup. I even tried one from a company knowing it probably wouldn't be keto-friendly because of who put it out. Right. I'll leave that video up here. I'm always willing. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have links right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we try chocolate, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.